Hello and welcome back to the COP TV, the voice of football's most famous stand, of course, the COP. I'm AGT and welcome. If you haven't watched this channel before, it's great to see you. If you have already subscribed, great stuff, absolutely brilliant. If you haven't already, do yourself a favour. It takes literally a second to scroll over to that subscribe button and hit it, as well as hitting the bell button as well, so you never, ever go and miss with the COP TV content. So yes, uh, a match preview and lineup prediction video is in order, I believe, for Burnley uh, at Anfield on Saturday at three o'clock. It's actually quite nice to be playing a three o'clock kickoff at Anfield again. Of course, we'd prefer to be there, um, but it feels like things are going back to normal when stuff like this happens. So I'm all for it. Three o'clock Saturday kickoffs, they're brilliant. Um, so in terms of a match prediction, now we have won all of our last four encounters against Burnley. Uh, the last Last time they beat us was in 2016, if you remember, two goals from Andre Gray and we lost 2-0. Very early Klopp days. Those days are long gone though, long gone. Uh, and Burnley come to Anfield with little hope, to be quite frank. Uh, we know how they play. They've done incredibly well uh, with Sean Dyche at the helm. Uh, they're pushing again for a Europa League place, which you have to say, fair play. I mean, who else could have come into Burnley when Dyche did? and take them to these heights and their fans must be so grateful so it is great actually to see you know an English manager being really well respected wherever he goes uh, and I think he's really deserved that respect as well um, with his Burnley team um, but we know what they're like they're going to be very physical the likes of Wood and Barnes up top they will always be up for a scrap so Virgil and Joe are going to have to be uh, going to the gym today just to top those muscles up to deal with these big lads up top because they're going to be physical we know everyone knows by now how Burnley play having said all that with all the respect to Burnley we should walk this one quite comfortably. Uh, I'm predicting a 3 or 4 nil scoreline. I do think we need another one of those big scores just to get the confidence back up in time for Wednesday when we play against Arsenal. A bit of news actually that's come out of today's press conference with Klopp. He actually has confirmed uh, what we all didn't want to, to be uh, true, which is that Henderson is going to miss the remainder of this season with that knee injury that he picked up against Brighton, didn't we? We played Brighton the other day and Hendo uh, hurt his knee. So there was rumours going round that Henderson would actually miss the first bit of next season. But actually Klopp has come out today and said, no, that's not true. It should just be the next four games that he misses and then he should be back after that. Whether that means that he picks up the trophy still against Chelsea... I don't know. I think it might be a John Terry job where he comes onto the pitch in full kit after not actually playing the game. So we'll see what happens around that. But of course, we're going to be getting another guard of honour, our second one at home since uh, we won the Premier League uh, after 30 years, back on our perch just here, if you haven't known that already. Um, so I, yeah, again, I'm looking for a comfortable scoreline with or without Henderson. I think we're still very, very capable of beating this team quite, quite convincingly. Uh, I'd love to see Mo Salah in inch towards uh, the 22 goal mark which is obviously held at the minute by Jamie Vardy it would be incredible to see Alisson get a golden glove award and Salah pick up that third golden boot award in a row so although that we've already achieved greatness within the Premier League let's still try and push for those individual records as well I'm sure you'd all agree with me uh, especially the fact that we have three games to win out of our remaining four to ensure that we get 101 points so let's go absolute full steam ahead in these last four games uh, five games sorry um so yeah should be able to win three out of five and get to 101 points uh, in terms of a lineup prediction, I'm going to go with the same back five that I always do. I think Nico Williams, we might see him in the second half just to top up his appearances to get him to that threshold of five to qualify for a Premier League winner's medal. So yeah, with that said, uh, Alisson, Trent, Gomez, Van Dijk and Robbo to start with. Um, and then in the middle, obviously Henderson's out. So I could, I'd like to see Cater come in. I thought he was, apart from Salah, our man of the match against Brighton in the week. So I'd, I'd be really happy to see him start uh, with Fabinho and Wijnaldum as well. I wouldn't be surprised if the Ox maybe got a start too with Henderson being out that does lift up a place that is available for players to come in and out of. And then up top we need to see Salah, Firmino and Mane just because for one I'd love to see Salah nick a couple of goals and get closer to Aubameyang and Vardy especially because we're playing Arsenal on Wednesday and also I'd love and I'm desperate for Firmino to finally get that home goal that we've all been waiting for all season. So 
Bobby, if you're listening, if you're watching, you're probably not, mate. But uh, I'd love to see you score. So please just do what you need to do in training today to be prepared for tomorrow to score against Burnley. Um, so I'm going to go with a 4-0 prediction. I think it should be comfortable. I think uh, whatever Burnley do throw at us, we're more than capable of dealing with. I think Dwight McNeil is probably their most technically gifted player out on the wing. So him and Trent, that would be a really interesting battle. And like I said, Burnley have got good players. You know, Chris Cork has been their captain now for a couple of seasons, and he's a he's a Premier League stalwart really after all of his years with with Swansea and now Burnley. So although we should win this 4-0, it absolutely does not mean that we can take our foot off the gas. Let's keep going and keep scoring goals. You mean you saw so many chances missed on uh, Tuesday night. Um, Salah could have had four or five himself. Mina Mino could have scored at the end and probably should have. So I'd like to think that Nico Williams, Mina Mino, the Ox, Origi will all come off the bench to try and impact the game. You might even see someone like Curtis Jones or Harvey Elliott pop up too, depending on how the game is going. But yeah, that's my prediction. That's my team. Don't forget, next Wednesday, we've got Arsenal at the Emirates. So on Monday, I'm heading down to the stadium uh, to speak to Robbie from Arsenal Fan TV to get a match preview from him and also feature on his match preview for Arsenal Fan TV. So keep an eye out for that. But don't forget, as always, after every single game, I will be hosting the Cop TV fan chats after. So if you would like to get involved in the fan cams on Saturday around 5 o'clock, straight after uh, full time against Burnley, then please comment on this video and let me know and I'll send you the link for Saturday. Really, really happy with how the fan cams are going right now. I mean, obviously I'd rather be at the ground speaking to all of you guys, but um, this is going to have to do for now um so yeah i'm gonna go with four nil that's my team predictions like i said at the start of the video please subscribe to the cop tv if you haven't already and press that notification bell because trust me there is some absolutely a1 content coming your way especially on the 22nd of july if you catch my drift uh, that's the dropping of the it means everything film that i've been working really hard on so yeah Stay in the loop for that. But until then, have a great weekend and I'll see you after full time at Anfield on Saturday. Take care.